What's up everyone? So, we're actually going to be getting the Children of Ursus event next and the reason why we're skipping the Phantom banner as well as the banner for Weedy and W is because I feel like the devs want to slow down the pace at which we get W and since Polka or Rosa's banner is mostly a filler banner um, I guess they decided to go with that first so the reason I believe that we're getting this is about an hour and a half to two hours ago the EN account as well as the Japanese account for the official Arknights team actually did tweet this uh, teaser and the last two lines um, are the more important ones hope that one day Rhode Island can be their new home a new event will be live soon so we do know a new event will be live soon and this line um, if you do know the Children of Ursus event, um, this is likely referencing to them because a lot of them were transitioning to Rhode Islands. They did have a hard time as the uh, student government, the Ursus student government thing, the, the survivors, which are Zima, Poka, Absinthe, etc. So yeah, that's why I believe that this will be the Children of Ursus event and not the event for phantom so we also do get a lot of quality of life improvements so recently we did uh, where is it we did uh, get this announcement that you can now collect the lmd through the um the skip tab same as the uh, factory factory now so you don't have to collect the lmd one by one so that's something a lot of people have been looking forward to as well as this sorry um, this new function so you can see that you can now categorize the skins you have uh, you can see the, your, your test collection your epoch collection your uh, cambrian series this one made by 001 there's a lot of this you can see it's split into two series the other one is just hoshiguma and then the other one is the chinese new year um skins so yeah there's a you can now check whatever series you have so the other thing is you can see here path to glory so they haven't tweeted for this but it is in the english as well as the japanese interface you can see both those will have path to glory so what this is is essentially these are medals here we go these are medals that were introduced during operation pyrite in cn so operation pyrite is the one of the contingency contracts uh permanent map uh, it also has a permanent map um so i do have reason to believe that this will be rolled out early probably before or during the poca rosa banner so yeah essentially these are medals i'm sorry i can't read this but these are achievements for example I think this particular badge, the SSS, you get that for clearing Risk 18 in the first week of the release of an event. So, there. Uh, look at this one. Operation operator recruitment 130. So re recruit 130 operators. I can't read the rest, uh, but yeah, these are basically achievements, and these medals will show up in the friend interface so you can see a bunch of your medals there and your friends can see that too so it's more of a flex it doesn't really add um give you rewards or anything like that it's just a flex so yeah i just wanted to put that out of the way since we did see it in the uh teaser for the skins so i i believe that they will implement this quality of life improvements sooner because recently they've been implementing a lot of the quality of life improve uh improvements so yeah they're trying to roll those out not in orders which is pretty good that's pretty good so over the uh children of Ursus event we're gonna go over it really quickly so there's gonna be a side story children of Ursus. um i don't want to spoil the event as well as me being honest i didn't play the event because i don't play in cn anymore i only play in en so it's basically just a side story you're gonna get to know a lot more about the um 
a lot more about the uh, Ursus faction. So Zima, Poca, Rosa, Absinthe, etc. And it's kind of a really sad story. Like I read the uh, story when it was released. The dialogue in the story, it's kind of depressing. They go over their stories one by one. And yeah, there's a lot of red stuff there. So yeah, you can get this. I'd not, okay, it's called... Campus Supermarket? No, 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 that's... Campus Supermarket is the place you buy it. I don't know what that thing is called. Maybe it's here. Okay, here. Pet Petterheim Hot... Let's just call them biscuits. You can get these biscuits and exchange them for rewards. And this girl right here is Absinthe. Absinthe is a welfare caster. Um, she's pretty good, in my opinion. Because she has consistent DPS. So, we're just gonna go over the... Absinthe really really quickly All right, so you can see that she has infinite duration skill Which one is it? Here we go. We have infinite duration skill at 90% attack. That's uh, not super strong, but uh, it's consistent DPS So you can use her over Amiya. Amiya is really bad with the consistent DPS because of how her skills have high SP ceiling and one of her skill automatically retreats her so Amiya for burst, Absinthe for consistent damage so what else? of course we get Rosa and when I first read the tweet from Arknight's EN about the Children of Ursus event I was kinda scared because Right before the Children of Ursus event, we did get Operation Pyrite, which is a contingency contract. And the thing with Operation Pyrite is it's really uh, helpful to have Elysium. So I was worried that they would release Pyrite as well. But Pyrite and uh, Rosa Banner, those are two different updates. Those are two different um, time frames. They're just close to each other. So the way I believe it will happen is Children of Ursus, Phantom, WDW, and then Pyrite. So, no confirmation, of course, but um, that's how I think it will happen. So, yeah, Banner, etc. We get Leonhard, Absinthe, uh, forgot this one, who, uh, her name, and uh, we get Rosa or Poca. And there's a lot of debate what her name is, Rosa or Poca, but it doesn't really matter. You know, both. Are referring to the character so you don't have to you don't have to be correct it's Rosa or Poca I don't really care so we also get some of the f most fun skins do this Magellan skin sorry about that that was my neighbor um, let me just show you really quickly this skin oh my goodness the animations for this are super nice look at that uh, where is the attack animation? Um, I don't know how to use a ship's thing, but there should be attack animation. Oh, you can't see the whole thing. Never mind. Uh, let's go to Billy Billy, and uh, it should be here. The attack animations for the Magellan skin are super nice. Weedy ban okay sorry other way around because the weedy banner okay rosa there we go there we go so look at this ice and then the other skill is anchovies or i forgot what the fish were called sorry about that uh it's not anchovies it was something else because a lot of people were correcting me when i posted a video on this and said it was anchovies a lot of people were it's uh, this type of fish. I forgot what it is, but it's a common type of fish you eat from the can. So, animations are nice. Sorry for the lag. Um, there we go. Less lag. So, that looks really fun. Look at that. This is probably one of the skits, as well as Zima skin with a lot more of the animations. Look at that. Look at the dead fish. <laughs> it's a really nice skin. Really, really nice skin. So, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. So there's not really much to this event and the dorm set for the Children of Ursus. All I really want is this poster but I don't want it with the board so 
Yeah, I just wanted this poster, but uh, you have to get the board. So I might get, I might just get the whole thing, since I do have a lot of uh, furniture parts. So yeah, um, that's it for this event, and uh, I hope that we are gonna be able to make the most of it. Personally, I will not be pulling for Rosa, Polka, etc. I will be saving for either Phantom or W because I really like Phantom's kit. He isn't game changing and I feel like Rosa is more useful for high risk. So I'm not 100% sure yet. So if I get tempted, I'll probably pull for her. We'll just see. So thanks for watching this guys. I hope uh, you got the event overview for the next event which is the Children of Versus.